and do a little video of my farm. This is one little plot that I got going. We got beans and tomatoes in this only. Some beans, tomatoes, beans. Beans are actually starting to flower. They're kicking ass. Look at them. My beans are kicking ass. Look at that. Beautiful. Some tomatoes and more beans. I like to use the rocks because it gives the plants something to grow against. And as the, they start the fruit, you can put the fruit on the rocks and it won't cause the fruit to rot. We have another single tomato over here in a little, little container. All carrots. Actually gonna start thinning them out. They're looking really good. In this row we have some of the world's loudest corn which was left in the container. So it's really stunted. Beans. Some more of the world's loudest corn. Beans. These little things right here are watermelon. They're extremely hard to grow in New England, but I'm trying. Cucumbers. All cucumbers. They seem to be doing really well. Some were planted by seed out here. Some were started indoors and then transplanted. All the smaller ones were transplanted. All the bigger ones were from seed. All started at the same time. Obviously, the transplanted ones are a little stunted because they were transplanted, so they need to take more beans. Several rows of corn. Some's doing really good, some is small. And this right here is world's loudest corn. This corn was hit with 146 decibels of bass at 32 hertz. And you can see the size difference. World's Loudest Corn was also planted two weeks earlier, so it's had two weeks extra time in the outside soil. And all the stunted ones over there were transplanted about a, less than a week ago, I believe. And we're going to see how those finish up. They were hit with 146 decibels at 32 hertz for several full SPL runs. Um, and then left stunted in the container on purpose and then were transplanted into the ground we'll see how they do late in summer so yeah stay tuned for world's loudest corn